Hey container developers, Jack Wallen here to help you make tech work. Did you know you can create custom container images with Podman so you can use them and reuse them for numerous container deployments? Let's find out how it's done. The first thing we'll do is pull the latest Ubuntu image from Docker.io. To do that, log into your Linux distribution, open a terminal window, and issue the command podman pull ubuntu colon latest. Next, we need to deploy a container with our newly pulled image. This can be achieved with podman run dash ti dash dash name ubuntu dash dev ubuntu colon latest. You should find yourself at the bash prompt of the newly running container, where you'll need to update apt with apt dash get update. We'll now install the Nginx web server with the command apt-get install nginx-y. You can install any other applications you want. For example, if you need to do Java development, install the latest JRE with apt-get install default-jre-y. Exit from the running container with the exit command, and then commit the changes to the running container with podman commit ubuntu-dev. Next, we need to locate the ID of the image with Podman Images. You should now see an image listed with the None label under Repository. That image should also have an associated ID, which will be a random string of characters. Copy that string and then tag the image with a new name like so. Podman tag ID Ubuntu-dev-base, where ID is the image ID. If you want to deploy a container based on that new image, the command might look like this. Podman create dash dash name Ubuntu dash web Ubuntu dash dev dash base. If you want to see more how-to videos, subscribe to our How to Make Tech Work YouTube channel. Also, check out Tech Republic for the latest news in tech.